Imagine this. Somewhere in the South China Sea, a U.S. Navy carrier group is sailing under the night sky. Suddenly, radar screens flash. An unknown aircraft is approaching, almost invisible to detection. It's fast, it's stealthy, and it's Chinese. This is the Chengdu J-20, China's fifth-generation stealth fighter, and its very existence is rewriting the rules of air power. Dark notice. The unseen exposed. Since its first flight in January 2011, the J-20, nicknamed the Mighty Dragon, has gone from prototype to frontline service, becoming the pride of the People's Liberation Army Air Force. For decades, the United States dominated the skies with aircraft like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. But the J-20 is China's answer, a statement that Beijing is ready to challenge U.S. air superiority head-on. The J-20 is part of a broader military modernization program that aims to transform China into a true global superpower. China's leadership knows that air power is the key to controlling the Asia-Pacific region, protecting shipping lanes, and enforcing its claims in the South China Sea. When the J-20 was first revealed at Airshow China in 2016, it wasn't just a display of technology. It was a message to the world. The era of unchallenged U.S. air dominance was coming to an end. At first glance, the J-20 might remind you of the F-22 Raptor or even the F-35 Lightning II, but its design is unique. Unlike Western stealth jets, the J-20 uses a canard delta wing configuration, which gives it an impressive balance of maneuverability, speed, and stability. Its long, slender fuselage and carefully angled surfaces are designed to reduce radar visibility, while its twin engine layout gives it the power to perform high-speed maneuvers and long-range missions. The J-20 is a true member of the five-generation fighter club thanks to three main features. Stealth technology, radar absorbent coatings, hidden air intakes, and a reduced radar cross-section make it extremely hard to detect. Advanced avionics. The cockpit includes a large LCD touchscreen, holographic HUD, AESA radar, and the EOTS-86 targeting system, giving the pilot unmatched situational awareness. BVR capability. With its internal weapons bays, the J-20 can carry long-range air-to-air missiles, reportedly with ranges exceeding 200 kilometers, allowing it to strike before being seen. But the J-20's road to becoming a world-class fighter hasn't been smooth. Early variants relied on Russian Saturn Al-31 engines, which limited its ability to supercruise, flying supersonic without afterburners. China has since introduced its own WS-10C engine and is developing the powerful WS-15. Once fully operational, the WS-15 will provide greater thrust, better fuel efficiency, and sustained supersonic performance, potentially making the J-20 one of the most dangerous fighters in the sky. Each J-20 is estimated to cost between $100 and $120 million, putting it in the same price range as the F-35. China has invested heavily, not just in producing the jets, but in building a fully domestic supply chain for avionics, engines, and stealth materials, reducing dependence on foreign suppliers and boosting its defense industry. The J-20 isn't just an air superiority fighter. It's also a long-range precision strike platform capable of penetrating enemy defenses and neutralizing key targets before an opponent can respond. Its presence over disputed regions like the South China Sea acts as a powerful political signal, reminding rivals that China is ready to defend its territorial claims with cutting-edge technology. The J-20 is more than an aircraft. It's a symbol of a shifting balance of power. For the U.S., the J-20 represents the first real challenge to American air dominance since the Cold War. For allies like Japan, Australia, and NATO members, it's a wake-up call, prompting investments in next-generation fighters, missile defense, and radar systems. 
As the mighty dragon continues to evolve, one thing is clear. The skies are no longer owned by a single superpower. The question now is not whether China can challenge the US in the air, but how far it's willing to go.